reflecting the first party spirit of the season is a Talmac original consisting of a glitter of black sequins in an all over design on this fabulous black coat of silk combined with cloud like pink chiffon in a pleated dress with a clever cross halter neck. Dress or coat alone certainly are fashion news, but combined we have the epitome of chic and sophistication. And for just that one extra touch, our dreamer has added a black fox oversized muff by Ritter. By the way, Ellie, what else would you like for Christmas? That? Oh, that little thing. It's merely a sable jacket, the king of furs, with a price tag of $7,000 on it. No, Ellie, you mustn't touch, but you might sing. I can dream, can't I? Now, this young lady is certainly doing well by her dreams. She dreamed that when she stepped out of her chauffeured limousine and into the club, she would be the prettiest one there. And she's so right, for she decided upon a full-length ranch mink coat. That alone, with its smart, deep, turn-back cuffs, is really enough to see her through. But with it, she has selected brown, delicate, imported lace in a stunning dress by Harvey Behrens, underlined with beige silk taffeta, and row after row of dark brown satin ribbon for contrast. Let's complete your dream, Sandra. Suppose you choose your Latoska jewelry from the tree so that we can see how you would round out your dream costume. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I see. It's gorgeous. Really, it is. But remember, it's only a dream. And now, Trajere, who is one of our country's most exciting designers, did some nice dreaming herself when she dreamed up this creation of very unusual smartness and high fashion. Just the combination of important heavy neighbor slipper satin combined with black was sheer inspiration. But when she dreamed of the streamlined way of our life that we are now enjoying, this gown was the outcome. Angular, effective, with a regal looking tiara, earring, and necklace. And here, completing another Christmas party dream outfit is a straight fox stole, both flattering and simple at once. She looks all ready for a coronation. This Christmas beauty has been dreaming of silver blue for months, not as her favorite color, but as her favorite fur. Silver blue mink, Aleutian, Cerulean, and Stuart, all magnificent mutations of the fabulous mink family. So she starts her dream with a lavish coat of that very fur, complete with kick pleat and back. Her next concentration was on her gown, and since she had always dreamed of owning a Hattie Carnegie design, she selected this gorgeous bowl gown from Miss Carnegie's newest collection. Delicate pink satin, flattering to all complexions is the fabric. Magnificent beading has been cleverly handled to add to the stunning overall picture. Isn't it too bad that she has to awaken and get down to earth? To make you feel better, Jeannie, suppose we let you choose a trinket from the Christmas tree, okay? Oh, that one. Well, if you're a very good girl, maybe Santa will bring you one just like that on December 25th. And now, since we generally associate our dreams with the sky and with the clouds, naturally, one of our beauties would have to imagine herself floating on a fleecy cloud surrounded by a clear blue sky. And to be in perfect accord, she dreamed her gown would be designed by Sophie, who is a great believer in femininity. Delicate blue slipper satin is the basis for this dramatic and delightful confection with excitement running rampant in the bodice, which is pointed and encrusted with jewels that twinkle like the stars on a moonlit night. To carry out her blue theme, not a sad blue by any means, she thought, why not blue fur? Why, certainly, blue fox. And it is the perfect choice in her snug little bolero, which is buttoned snugly at the waist. She certainly is drifting and dreaming, and with every right to, for she's lovely. What else would you like to find under the tree Christmas morning, Joan? Oh, sables. Well, what do you know? <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed for you, but I hope you have a devoted husband. Those things cost lots and lots of money. I would say that Frosty the Snowman, or Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, might have had something to do with this dream. His 
all white and glistening. Kvyat has certainly lived up to her reputation of having a very dramatic flair with the creation of the snow white all over a sequin sheath with added drama presented in the shocking pink draped stole that may be worn many ways. The white mink, her jewelry, make us stop for a minute and say, you know, this is how, if I could wave a magic wand, I'd like to have my Christmas dream outfit turn out. Isn't it wonderful? Our dreams are getting better all the time. Yes, sir, the newest Christmas wrappings are of mink. Not of paper, but of mink. A woman's dream of a truly luscious wrap. And this one is a lavish, full-length design of ember royal pastel in all of its glory, with interest in the spiral sleeves and the tight-fitting cuff, which may be pushed up with your long gloves. Even the lining has been made of a dream fabric, black and gold Chinese brocade. Lily Dache, a dream herself when it comes to creating things to make a woman more beautiful, selected Chartreur's heavy slipper satin for the fabric of this exquisite ball gown. Simple and elegant, that's the theme. Gay and exciting, that's the picture, which prompts our model to chant, dream a little dream of me. But in this outfit, of course, her jewels, again fabulous by Lacoste. Now, you know, there's got to be one daring dreamer in any group of dreamers, we think. And here she is in a very sophisticated gown of black net and white lace. The white scroll design on the black flares out into a very Spanish-looking flounce at the knees. And since this little dreamer will be dancing all night long until dawn, I think this is a perfect choice. Her casual addition of white mink is a well-planned scheme to make heads turn and to make wolves whistle. Well, she's seen something. My goodness, she sure has. It looks like she's been dreaming overtime, and all of her dreams are coming true right now because everything here is just what she wanted. But Diane, the dreaming time is over. We must all get down to earth. But remember, there are just 15 shopping days until Christmas. And tonight, when the boss gets home for dinner, you might give him a hint. Who knows? Maybe on Christmas Day, you'll find your dreams weren't in vain after all. And wouldn't that be wonderful?